Taylor. Welcome to the studio. Actually, I don't have any tech, so I don't want to deal with that. So when I was working on my world building project on um, my third video, um, I brought in a river with trees. And I'm going to show you layer by layer how I went about this. Okay. So in the video, I had a river and trees. I had the trees that were painted with gouache, and then I overlay a very thin white layer um, of white, and then quickly put cellophane on it, and just before it got too dry, because I didn't want to stick to it, I pulled it off, and then got these really cool designs on the maple trees on this river. So I scanned it in and um, went through are. Let's see, let's select the trees. Scanned it in. At this point is when I start putting everything together. So I want to clean up with an eraser. I like to use that tool for deckling, but for this instance, I want a nice rounded, good sized tool to do some of the major cleanup on the roots. And there's some little bits of ephemera, little. little spots and things from the scanning. So I just want to come through and clean that up a little bit and show you what I'm doing. Well, let's clean up this little tree over here. Happy little trees. Okay, so then I put together my river pieces that were um, watercolor with um, cellophane. A couple times I had made those layers. Now, I removed the deckling and replaced it with a stroke. And so it's very, I reduced the stroke to about 80%, but um, I can add more white to that stroke to have it stand out um, with my little paint bucket, or I can just leave it like a, a natural, I can probably, ooh, fill it in. So I've got the river. <clears throat> And uh, these were the strips that I had. These were all strips that I divided. I scanned it all in one piece. And oh, that's where that went. Okay, let's get rid of that big thing. So anyway, I dropped these in. As you can see, there's no stroke on the side. So that might even come in handy at some other point. I like to recycle all these things. Let's get some of this river action going and get the rolling waves. And I want it a little bit longer and stretch it out. There we go. So we've got that river rolling through here. Okie dokie. So with our happy little trees and what's nice about doing this in Photoshop, I don't know if <laughs> when you were a kid, but when I was a kid, I played with color forms. Oh my gosh, they were one of my favorite toys. Another thing I played with was um, a light box. It was a Barbie light box. We're just gonna go in and, where's that tree? Is it hiding? Nope, I thought I pasted it. Mm, there we go. So anyway, I played with a light box and um, color forms, and this really reminds me of color forms as I play in Photoshop um, creating my books. What's nice is you can go through and um, get your images and alter them. There's a very organic look to them, uh, but you can come through and um, fix things that it's like, oh no, if you're painting it, you just can't, you can't fix it. Once you get it done, that means you have to start all over again. So I'm kind of straightening, skewing and straightening these trees. There we go, I kind of like that look. And I'm gonna stick those back there. And so, let's see, we've got these trees, the larger ones right here. So we're gonna move them over here just a little bit. Take this one and we're gonna pop that little guy behind the others. And 
since this one is kind of attached, I don't know. Should we remove it? Why not? It's kind of getting in the way. We've got this, we've got that leaf. It's going to draw your eye down the river and maybe we'll copy this one and take it over. Do we want to leave it the same? No. So we're going to have to rotate it and maybe even give it a little bit of change. So let's We'll duplicate that and we're just gonna cut the shape of that. All right, so we want to draw our eye out to the page. It's like here comes a page turn, follow the leaves. We've got the leaf coming down, we want to get it just in there. This one I might flip it. Oh, yeah. That has much more organic look, like it's floating, it's going to float onto the water. Okay, so I've got my background and it's looking, hmm, I'm going to do a dry brush on it. I kind of like the dry brush. I want to add that look of a glacier in the background. And maybe what we will do is give it some brightness and depth and some snow. We're going to, yeah, happy little glacier. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come through here. Come through there. Okay. Maybe just a little touch here. Get back there, little guideline. <clears throat> so, um, here's some other trees that I had. Little pines. We can stick them back in here. Okay, so I'm going to take and close this out. All right. Nope, we're going to hold on. Okay, so here is my scene. Let's add what I like to call color sharing and let's see how that leaf looks. So it gives it some depth. We've got our layers floating. Color sharing, you pick up colors from the other images. And I do that a lot so you're not using just a black, but you are picking up um, colors in your illustration. Okay, let's try that. We're going to do that on the river, and then you're going to see it more when it comes up on this. I really enjoy playing. Ah, now my sky is lightening up. There we go.
Okay. When in doubt, make it bigger. There we go. Okay. I'm going to stop playing with No, I mean, no. I lie. I'm going to keep playing with it. There we go. Whoop. This is the first part of building the scene and um, using papers. And I could go through and come through here and uh, use detail. And I would use my um, uh, Huion monitor, um, the Huion tablet, and go through and draw some details on there. Um, I kind of like what it, I have, it's very organic. And so here we have our flowing river, the maples of the forest, the glacier in the background, and the sky looks kind of ominous and all like gray, all the mist from the glacier. So I can come in here and add um, drop shadows like that, find a color, do it. So it's not black, maybe just a little bit and soften it with that blur, the size. So I can come in here and add depth to that. So when you're looking at a book, um, it's going to look like it's handmade right there. And you can do this gluing the paper down um, onto a substrate to make a one-off book or when it goes to print, put this in InDesign or in PowerPoint and create a PDF and you've got a print book. So this is one of my scenes. Thanks for watching. Save, save often. <laughs>